on my face like a like I'm taking a slap. I need a drink. What is up, my Skyrim family? It's your long lost son, Jelly Bean. I hope everybody's having a lovely week. Today, we're going to be presenting something new. It just came on Nexus, I believe, yesterday. We are going to be looking at the Silver Peak Lodge. Now, we're, I'm starting over here because you have all these targets up here. The Talus Alachu and a little hot spring. You want to get naked? Get naked. You don't want to get naked? Hit the little globe. And over here, you got like a little crafting area, grinding wheel, a little tanning rack, smithing over here, some cattle. Now, are you ready to see the house? Are you seriously ready to see this? This will knock your socks off. So you look up, slowly turn around. There's your stables, and there's the house in all its glory. When you see, we get inside, you're going to see just how massive this house is. Now, it's got this completely wraparound porch. Now, one thing you're going to notice before we do the walk around the porch, look at all these planters. You can plant ingredients from here to kingdom come. But then you have this beautiful, beautiful porch. It literally wraps all the way around. Now this little steering wheel you see glowing, when I get near it, it's going to say float up. Well, what it will do is it will send you all the way up there to overlook everything. I'm not going to go up there. I'm terrified of heights, even in video games. But that's what it'll do. So as we approach it, as you see, we'll float up. Oh, what the heck. I'll do it just for you guys. Oh, I almost got attacked by an eagle. There's White Run over there. It's a little cloudy today. But look at the view up here. Can you believe that? So, float on back on down. Continue with this beautiful, beautiful porch. There is actually two of them. You'll see one. There's one on the back porch. Look at this. Like, can you believe this? This is just incredible. So that is the outside of the Silver Peak Lodge. Let's get inside and take a really good look inside and be prepared to have your mind blowing. Okay, so we've made it inside. Just, and I'm sorry, I'm stirring a little bit because I can't believe what I'm seeing. Like, look what we're looking at. This is a free, I repeat, free player's home. Start your new playthrough, come here, claim the house, it's yours. No quest. No money, no fuss, no muss. It is everything here you get for free. Now over here is a little bit of a library. Now I have a mod on there, a glow, unread glow books. So when you haven't read a book, it glows. So this way you can tell whether you have read a book or not. Because sometimes it gets confusing. But as you can see over here on the shelves, all these books are glowing which means they haven't been read yet. So here is a pile of books that you can also start off your playthrough. And then through here is your kitchen. Well, on this side you have your kitchen. And all this food you see here 
you can take. So if you're playing that realistic needs and diseases, I believe that's what the mod's called, I'm not sure because I've never really used it. You can come in here, gather all this food, and you're set for a little while. Then if you come over here to this side, there's all your alchemy enchanting and your staff enchanters. Now everything you see in here, all those Deidre cards and all that stuff over there and all these potions can all be taken. couple blood potions if you need them. Now these four st staffs are all enchanted. These ones here are unenchanted. Then through here you have your crafting area. Like look how amazing this is. Now I don't know if you've done it. I forgot to show you but here's some weapons you can start off with. you have all these weapon racks here oh wait till you see the cellar I couldn't believe it when I saw the cellar there is 36 beds in this place so if you like to collect followers oh pardon me that I'm just re I'm reading off the mod page while I'm making the video there's 38 beds so if you're a follower collector and you'd like to collect followers and have your little army there you go, you can have 38 here. Like that's just absolutely amazing. Now look at this grand dining hall. You have all these tables set up. You have a bar over here for all your drinks. Then over there, look at that fish tank. And it's also a table. Like, look how incredible that is. Got a little sitting area over there. And then if we go through here, look at all this stuff in here. As you see, you can take all this stuff. Well, except for the stuff in the chest. Oh, darn, you can't take those? That sucks. Now, if you don't want people getting naked in the pool, or you like to get naked in the pool, it all depends on you. There's these little balls you're going to see near water. Now, what you do is you activate this, and you can dress, and you can undress. And then through here, look at this. Isn't this absolutely incredible? Now over here you have some sinks or wash basins. Sinks, wash basins, all the same to me. But You can turn them on and you can turn them off. And then there's all these potions all over the place that you can take. Now this is going to be a rather long video. Look at this. Too bad I couldn't take all, any of this armor. Unfortunately you can't. Because look at that. Glowing ebony. Oh, glowing ebony. So this is going to be a fairly long video because... There is so, so much to this house. It is absolutely unbelievable. Now through here is your 38 beds. Like how is this for sleeping quarters? Wait, you, you could, you could set up your own army. It is unbelievable.
I don't even think I know where you'll find enough followers to fill this room. <laughs> It'd be fun trying though. It would. it would. It would be fun to try and fill that up with followers. And you're going to find these chests and safes all over the place. So you have tons and tons of storage. Like it is, they're literally everywhere. Now, when you do the quests, like uh, the companions and all that, once you've done them, you can activate these. And any of the trophies that come from it, you can store right here. He, like this, this is amazing how he's done this. So we'll head up these stairs. Now, mind you, I'm still on the main floor. <laughs> Now, to get the house to look like mine, I'll leave a link of all the, the additional textures that I use, because I use quite a few textures. Look at it. Like, they put a little chair here, so you can overlook everything. Like, look at the expanse. So up here is a little bedroom. Now one of the nice things is, right here on the headboard, a spell, so you can fast travel back anytime you want. So I'm going to take that because this is going to be my player at home. Now on the other side of the chest, if you get close enough, oops, you have a Diedrich and an Ebony R, um, Dagger. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering a little bit because I just I can't get over the how much stuff there is free that you can take. Like all of this. So like you got ways to make money. You got ways oh you got weapons to start. The only thing we haven't come across yet is any kind of armor, which would be really, really nice. You try not to fall down these stairs. I'm stu my computer's stuttering a little bit. I have a potato computer, so this mod is kind of hard on my system. But you have all your amulets, all your claws, like, and look at the little flags. <laughs> That's really neat, I like that. Dragon's Priest masks. Like, look at everything that's in here. This is just absolutely insane. Sure, you can take the kids' clothes, but you can't take the armor. What kind of horse pucky is that? But yeah, this is your children's room. So now we're going to get through some of these doors. Believe it or not, this video is already nine minutes long, and I've just done the main floor. But here's for all your children. I also use snazzy furniture, so I'll make sure that I leave all the links in. Because I know some people have mentioned that. Why doesn't my house look like yours in the video? But let's head through the door in front of us and see what wonders are hidden behind. So here we are. We're in the master room. That's what it's called. It's not called master bedroom. It's just called master room. But look at this. Like, you got so much damn storage. Even Here's some more weapons that you can take. All these wardrobes are empty. Now, what you're going to find when we get down to the cellar is there's all these different ladders. Well, they all go to different, different places throughout. But look at all this storage. Like, it's just unbelievable. That leads out to a little balcony, so I'm not going to go through there right now. But look, at, isn't this just absolutely incredible? There is another one, so there's, I guess there's going to be quite a few spell tones around here. Nice little desk.
I haven't found any hidden rooms. Trust me, I've looked. So that is your master room. I still can't get over how big this place is. This is absolutely massive. So let's go ahead and went we'll into the cellar. So here we are, we're down in the cellar now. Now remember I was talking about those ladders. Well here they are here. And they are, this one here tells you that that goes to the crafting area. And then as you come to them, they will tell you where they go, they go to. So that is really nice. Now, I, I'm going to pause here for a little minute. What do you think is around the corner? You're going to be absolutely amazed. If you're a collector, if you're a hoarder, and you like to display stuff, you like to conquer and grab and display your little trophies, wait till you see what's around the corner. Oh, oh. Ooh, nice fireplace. I see some weapon racks. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Look at this. Can you believe this? Do you like the store or do you like to collect? This is insane. Oh, this is absolutely and truly insane. Yep, those are all weapon racks. These are all mannequins, all weapons racks. This, and look at all the chests that are on the wall for storing miscellaneous stuff. Like, look at this. I'm sorry, I'm going to make you a little dizzy, but look at all of this. Can you believe all of this? Is there anything in this little chest or is it just for storage? Yep, just for storage. This beautiful fireplace. I... <laughs> I just cannot believe this. So if you're looking for a starter home, this is going to be absolutely incredible. So now we're going to head out to the back porch. And wait till you see the back porch. So let's head out there now, shall we? Okay, so here we are. We're on the back porch now. Oh, bad. Oh, but give you an idea there's white run this is how high up we are there's white watch tower look at the up here can you believe this like you can see for miles this is just absolutely out of this world There's Valhalla Towers. Holy smokes, can you see a lot from up here? Wow. This is incredible. Now, like I said, I'm staggering a little bit. It is very toxic on your, your system. I have a potato computer and that's why I'm having a little bit of a difficulty but I'm doing my best to give you the best possible video. But I still can't believe this view. It just, it just keeps going. And again, we have these outdoor 
wash basins, which are fully active. Well, you can fully activate them, sorry. <laughs> and these here are again, a bunch of arrows that you can take. Now you have this beautiful, beautiful sauna. Now again, like I said, inside the house, you're gonna find one out here too. Everywhere there's a body of water, you're gonna find one of these globes. What they do is they, you can get naked or you can keep your clothes on. It's totally up to you. More clothes you can't take. But look at this view of Whiterun. Can you believe that? Can you imagine just sitting up here whittling away the days? This is just way too much. And this is all free. This does not cost you a dime. Like, holy crap, Ola. Insane. This is absolutely insane. Wow. So if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right. Hit that bell and you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And don't forget, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean and thank you for joining me in the Cloud District.